All right, uh, I'm gonna give you guys a brief overview of the master formula. It's called the master formula because you can use it for all of your drug math uh, needs. All right, so the master formula is DD times WT times SS over C times T. All right, what's DD? Desired desired dose. Dose. That's your desired dose, exactly. That's going to be your ordered dosage, whatever's in your protocol. All right. What's WT? Weight, Weight in kilograms. kilograms. Weight in kilograms. Very good. So one of the first uh, pieces of math that you're going to have to do, when you, even before you start the formula, is converting the patient's weight from pounds into kilograms. What's SS? Solution set. Solution set. So that's going to be your drip set, right? Yes. All right, very important. And then C? Concentration. Concentration. And that's going to be per one ml. We're going to have to reduce that down to the amount of drug per one milliliter. And then finally, T? Time. Time in minutes. Time in minutes, very good. All right, so those are your basic components of the master formula. And you're gonna use the different components based on the type of uh, dose you have. So if it's a drip or an infusion, uh, you're gonna definitely be using solution set in time, and if it's weight-based, you'll be using weight. You're always gonna have a desired dose and the concentration component for every medication you're gonna be administering. All right, so let's do one of the most difficult ones, the uh, dopamine drip, right? So what's our dopamine drip dose? Does anybody remember? It's, it's a range, but we like to start at five micrograms per kilogram per minute. So it's weight-based and it's a drip. All right. So we're going to use every component of the master formula here. All right. So I'm going to erase this so I have enough room. And again, if I go too fast, I'm going to go back over it. Uh, piece by piece and break it apart. So our desired dose, five micrograms per kilogram. And we can take that minute and just go ahead and put it down here since it's only one minute. All right, times. Uh, patient's weight, let's say it's 132 pounds. How many kilograms 60. is that? 60, exactly, right. 132 divided by two is 66 minus 10%, which is the first number, 60. All right, 60 kilograms, and you guys know what solution set we're going to use? 60, 60, a 60 drop set, very good. Micro. Micro. That tells me what? Every 60 drops gives me how many milliliters? One. 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 Very good. All right, and then we're going to take a 400 milligram vial of, of this dopamine, and I'm going to put it into a, a 250 milliliter bag, okay? What's the first thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to convert this milligrams to micrograms, right? I want my concentration measured to be the same as my desired dose. So 400 milligrams is how many micrograms? 400,000 micrograms. And 250 milliliters. All right, so how do I reduce this down to one ml? Divide by the right side here, right? The denominator, 250 mLs. Mm -hmm. All right, so 400,000 divided by 250. I know you guys already know what your head is. 1,600. 1,600. Micrograms per milliliter. So cross out the stuff you're not using as you go. Okay, and again, to make this easier, if you have a zero down here and a zero up here, you can go ahead and cross those out. Zero, zero, okay. Um, do I have an even number on the bottom? Mm -hmm. Yes. Do I have any even numbers on top? Yeah. Yes. All right, so I can divide though, if, if, I, if they're even, I know I can divide them by what number? Two. 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 So 16 divided by two is? Eight. eight. Six divided by two? Three. Three. All right, do I still have an even number on the bottom? Yep. Yes. And still have an even number on top? Yep. Yes. All right, so eight divided by two? Four. Four. Six divided by two? Three. Now, do I have an even number on the bottom? Yeah. But do I have an even numbers on top? No. 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 All right. 
So we'll have to do the math. But let, before we do that, let's get rid of some of these variables here. All right. Mm -hmm. So any duplicates you can get rid of. So yeah, I have microgram down here. Yeah, microgram. Good. ML. 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 Kilograms up tops. Top. And then kilograms up top. So all the duplicates I get rid of, and I'm left with drops per minute. And we know that that's what we want, right? Yes. Drops per minute. All right. And then five times three times three over four, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So what's five times three? 15, 15 times 3 45. divided by 4 is roughly 11. 11 2, 2, 5. So 11, because you're not going to count a quarter drop, right? Mm -hmm. So our solution is 11 drops per minute. Does that sound reasonable? Yes. 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 All right, very good.